Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a video today. I am doing a reseller yearly review tag. I was tagged by Tanya Sheets. Uh, she is at Thrifty Treasures, I believe. Anyway, let's get started with the questions. They're really cute. Um, the best pickup of the year is, I would have to say it has been books and it's been pretty consistent um, as far as selling, but the, the, I have sold at least three or four books that have sold over $80. One, I believe sold for $125 and I got it for about a dollar or two at a thrift store and I showed it in a ride along. It was a book about animals. It was a beautiful photography book and I sure wish I could find another one because that was a really good pickup for me. All right. The next is a big, biggest sourcing fail. Uh, the biggest sourcing fail I wouldn't call it that big but it was disappointing and it is always disappointing when you walk into a store that says clearance going out of business and they're only reducing their merchandise by 25 percent and I made my uh, I made my grievances known to the owner or manager whoever it was I thought it was really sort of a bait-and-switch situation because I hate when that happens and it happens a lot here in Houston just to get you into the store, they put these huge signs and posters and billboards everywhere that they're going out of business, clearing the shelves, and they're really not. And that's what happened at this hardware store down the, the street. I was hoping to grab some retail arbitrage items, and no, I walked out. So that was it there. And um, But I can't think of anything else that I have purchased myself that... Um, has not sold or whatnot. I mean, everything's kind of just sitting around. Some of those things are long tail items. So, uh, but I haven't brought anything else home that has been broken or anything like that. All right. And then number three, best investment in your business this year, other than stock, I would have to say my best investment has been initiating and, uh, well, not initiating, but kind of honing my husband's skills as far as helping me with my business because he's always been a, a very supportive person as far as, um, you know, he doesn't really criticize the junk or anything like that in the house. He's always been the type that tries to help me when I did a lot of jewelry and I go in phases. Sometimes I'll do a lot of jewelry, handbags, whatnot. When I did a lot of jewelry, he would source at um, pawn shops for me and, and he would bring me what I asked him to bring and stay away from certain things because uh, I, I consider myself a better negotiator and a better haggler than he is. So um, that's kind of why I was a little bit leery about that. But now he's doing a lot of things as far as garage sales and he knows what I'm looking for. He's been bringing a lot of um, remote controls and electronics and things of that nature. So he's gotten really good at doing that and understanding that, you know, this, this is a business that is definitely contributing to the household income. And uh, so definitely that's been my biggest uh, investment in the business. I hate to say it like that, but definitely has been to use my husband and his expertise and his um, people skills because he does have a lot better people skills than I do. And uh, so that that has been it. And what else? The biggest, no, no, the best advice you've received from the community this year. Uh, I would have to say I wouldn't really call it advice because everyone has a snippet of you know of a bolo or whatnot and of course I you know I hone in on that but I would have to say the best advice is just watching other people here on YouTube because they inspire you to keep doing what you do they inspire you to list uh, when you see their sales report you're you're inspired to go and pull out your your things and, and list them and tweak them and whatnot so I would have to say that would be it there. Definitely, um, I get inspiration from watching people, other resellers on YouTube, whether they've just started or whether they've been doing it for a long time. Everyone has something to offer, I think. Everyone has something to learn uh, from each other. So, yeah, I would have to say that would be, um, you know, the best advice that I get is just to keep on watching, keep on listing. Uh, you sell. As long as you list, the more you list, the more you Funniest sell. or strangest uh, experience of the year. Oh, my goodness. I thought I had that a minute ago. I thought I had it in my head. Now I can't remember it. Oh, yeah. It wasn't really the fun. It was a little strange for me to run into some of my subscribers. And it's happened a couple of times. One of them mentioned it once. 
in a comment, but she didn't come up to me. And this last time, one lady came up to me and said, um, do you do YouTube videos? And then I was, yes. And then she says, oh, you're done, uh, something like that. And it was really exciting and, and very flattering. But it was one day that I stepped out of the house without makeup, and that rarely happens, believe me. That rarely happens. But on weekends, you know, sometimes it's like I've been wearing makeup all week, and I don't really want to wear it during the weekend. And I, so, and I said, oh, my goodness, of all the days for me to run into someone who subscribes to my channel is the day that I look like, you know, heck. And she said, oh, no, don't worry about it. She said, it's Saturday. That's what we do on Saturdays, isn't it? It's just whatever. But then she was very sweet, and she told me that, uh, she had just picked up a handbag, a coach handbag that I helped with in some of my videos and she resold that and so she was very nice and then we talked about uh, thrift stores that are in the area, some that she frequents and some that I didn't know about and so it was a really pleasant exchange of ideas and very much um, a, a good experience though it was a bit awkward for me at first but uh, yeah that would have to be it. And then the bug of the year, um, I think I've mentioned this before in one of my videos of things that, that upset me or make me feel, um, you know, less than pleasant. And that would be when I'm in a thrift store and I'm right in the middle of looking at something. I'm, I'm right there fanning the merchandise or, you know, scanning through it. And someone will come up from behind me and literally reach over my shoulder to grab uh, sweater or something that I was looking at that is just the rudest behavior and um, that would have to be one of them yeah I think this one's even worse is when people pull things out of your basket and I know Mar Margaret mentioned something about that that someone accused her of doing falsely accused her of doing but people have done it to me recently they had handbags for a dollar and I had three Vera Bradleys in my basket and my basket gets pretty full so I mean I didn't even notice but when I went in to check out one of them was missing and it was the prettiest one so that was very upsetting Real number seven is best feedback of the year uh, my feedback this year has been very nice and i can't really pick a good one or the best one but i'm always grateful for feedback because you don't always get it i've sold probably three or four times more than than i have feedback for as you guys know but i like when people say things like fast shipping and just as described because to me that's one of the most important things is as described I, I hate when I get merchandise that someone fails to mention something so when somebody compliments you on that I think it's a really good thing all right then the last or the next one is product that has surprised you this year uh, oh my goodness I don't know I would have to say um, again books books keep surprising me I uh, I'm always intrigued as to the the value, I mean, a lot of times you'll hear people say, oh, books are obsolete. Everybody, um, you know, can now just find resources online. You don't even need a reference book of any sort. And that is so untrue. People still love to hold a book and learn that way. And I'm always surprised at the kinds of books that sell. Everything from a simple photography book to a technical uh, I was sold one the other day for eighty dollars. It was a prototype. I had I I was lost just reading the the title on the of the book. It was about engineering, but I I scanned it and it was an eighty dollar book and it definitely sold for eighty dollars within a, a month. I think so. That continues to surprise me. Is the the value of books okay? The best seller for Q four. Okay, it would have to be the Louis Vuitton. Keep all 55 that I sold that I had since the 90s. I bought it a retail at Neiman's for full price, and I believe it was around $500 that I paid for it. So I had it for a long time, over 20 years, and I resold it for $850. And uh, that was a, a big deal for me because it showed me the power of the internet and the power of multi social networks, multi-listing. I did it on Poshmark, I did it on eBay, and I listed it, shared it on Facebook. And one of my friends saw it and uh, purchased it, and I won't go into the long story about showed it. showed me that a luxury brand like Louis Vuitton retains its value, increases in value, uh, regardless of whether it's used or, or not. Well, and it's definitely a a wonderful thing for me in so many on so many different levels my aim for the new year is going to be to find out more about FBA so I'm going to request that all those 
resellers out there who use FBA, do more videos on it. Please get down into the um, to the nuts and bolts of it because it is extremely confusing for a lot of people. It's it's uh, it's kind of leery for me. I'm a little bit leery about it because I hear horror stories about people getting their merchandise uh, retracted and whatnot. So that's kind of scary. I'm not sure exactly what the fees are when they tell me about it. I'll, I've called Amazon and they tell me about it and I still don't understand it. And uh, so that's kind of, I think that would be my biggest aim is to try to get into FBA because there, I know there's a lot of items that are restricted for the merchant fulfilled seller. Another thing I would have to say, everybody is saying organize, organize, and that's definitely a key. But I also want to stop uh, kicking myself about it and um, stop feeling bad about the stuff that I bring in. I don't have a room dedicated to my eBay things. I may have to do that, but I, I really want to stop feeling bad about bringing things in and sourcing because that's what what I need to do. That's that's the part of the business. And um, you know, when I go out there and I bring two or three bags full of stuff, I always want to say to myself, "Oh, why am I bringing more stuff? I haven't even sold what I have." But I have sold what I have. I have consistently emptied those bookshelves. I have consistently cleaned out jewelry boxes. And I'm going to stop feeling bad about bringing in more stuff because, you know, I, I do need to to keep uh, refreshing that inventory. And um, so that would probably have to be my, my biggest aim for the new year is to stop badgering myself over uh, sourcing and bringing in more things because the more I bring, the more I list, the more I sell. At least that's what I need to look at. That's it. going to be it. I'm going to tag two people that I think might be able to do it. Where is their names? Hold on, hold on, pop. Hold on, nice. Oh my God, you licked me. Oh, I hate to be licked. You know I hate that. Why are you doing that? I am not that kind of a pet owner. Move, go, ah. Oh, dog germs. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys, you dog lovers out there. If you let your dogs kiss you, that's, that's fine, but I don't dig it. Okay, let me see what's, what's going on here. Oh my gosh, I had the names here a minute ago. Tag, okay, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna tag two people. One is Pudgy Picker. I uh, I thought she was a, a subscriber of mine. I haven't seen her too active on my videos lately, but uh, I uh, I hope she is. And, um, and she's a great um, YouTuber as well and reseller, so I tag her. And then Vincent Romano 26 as well. So I look forward to your videos, guys. Thanks so much for tuning into this one. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.